Clock in, clock in. Black guy that just walked in. I don't need nobody. Only fuck with niggas from around my way. Fuck how you feel about it. I don't know who's stepping for my session, but they still trying to block it. Had to throw the hate up on my necklace. Bitch, I'm trying to stop it. Bitch, I don't even wash my clothes. I ain't never folded. Had to wipe a nigga nose. Team Black got a stand up, man. Yo. All right, so I know y'all seen like what's been going on with what that boy named Charleston White and King Von's sister. And apparently King Von's sister said something about Charleston White, said she would do something to him. Because I don't know if y'all remember, like back then, Charleston White was very dis... Charleston White been extremely disrespectful about uh, the whole situation. And then if y'all got me on Black Gotti 2.0, y'all would see I posted something that Charleston White had posted. And he posted a picture with him and Lil Tim posted up outside he had a chef hat and he wrote like a whole long ass message like he was up with a notorious you know uh legend you feel me matter of fact let's look at the picture that i posted he said i actually met the great young king and shook the legendary hand that pulled the trigger to slump and hump king von my life has been blessed by abundance ever since that day i love and honor this young nigga right here he's a hero to the nigga nation we smoking on that Von pack tonight. Thank God for Lil Tim. I don't know about y'all, but I know like when you thanking God, you not thanking God for uh, certain people losing their life, especially to violence and not any type of violence, bro. I'm talking about gang violence, gun violence, like any type of violence. I don't think that what we usually recommend folks to thank God for. You know, you supposed to thank God for the positive things in life. You feel me? You know, um, and even tough times, but not them type of tough times. That boy, he just a little bit way too hot out here. And I think he too old to eat and drink milk. So I don't think we could cure him. You hear me? But other than that, let's see what the Chirac Zeman himself has to say about what that boy Charleston White been saying on the internet. Not only about King Von, but about King Von's sister. Y'all take care of all Von kids or y'all ever looked out for Von kids and shit? I mean, Von kids straight, like... Broke kids good, like yeah. they don't need for nothing. Broke um kids, mamas, they good people. I know they gonna make sure they kids straight regardless though, you know. Yeah. What about Kayla B and shit? Like I, I she, see y'all still she cool. She good, y'all. Yeah, that's us. She good. She gonna make sure her her, her nieces and nephews good for sure. So like they don't really need no help from us. If they need some help, they will reach out. They'll but reach they don't out, reach out. Yeah. yeah. They don't reach out because they don't need no help. They they good. Everybody got their money straight and yeah, shit. Yeah, for too. sure they good. They don't need no help. They don't reach out to nothing. Kayla's the one that was uh, threatening that she was going to beat up Charleston White last night in the club, right? Yeah, she said she ran in Charleston White in the club. And he said that if, if she had done anything to him, that she would be up there rubbing shoulders with King Von. So. Oh, that's why Apparently she said he's, so. He's she ran into him. When he say that? Today on Instagram. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I got to go do my research. I didn't even see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bitch hit me. I turned to my hand turned bisexual. Bitch hit me. Pow. And my wife daughter. My wife daughter slapped me. I knocked the head off her shoulder. I swear to God. I and a nigga hit me. And I'm out on two bones for it right now. Bitch. That's a slow, man. He's a demon. <laughs> that nigga retarded, man. Do you believe Charles so much? Like when you be seeing the shit he's saying, you feel like he a character or you actually believe the shit he's, he's saying? He's scary shit. I believe he'll do something. I believe any motherfucker that's scared, they're going to do something. Yeah. Facts. I mean, he was m moving around with Mace. That nigga scared. You don't think any motherfucker scared going to do well, something? Well, he definitely can't fight. So it's like that's the Mace saying. seems like a reasonable. Any motherfucker that's scared going to do something. Then what Charles White ain't shit, but probably like 100 pounds. Yeah, but he's like disabled. Like, he, he, like realistically, if I was in his situation, I would definitely for sure have some Mace or whatever. If you can't get but a that's gun That's why you need to stop doing what he be doing, though. Yeah. You feel like people actually want to do shit to him or they know like he on some police shit so like you gonna I don't know you probably got people that really want to do something yeah. to him but I'm saying like even like cause he was disrespecting King Vaughn and shit like heavy so like people on y'all end y'all don't really be mad at him or y'all look at it nah, as like trolling no nah, bro number uh, do something to him I know they will yeah <laughs> cause he, he was talking <laughs> crazy at one point he don't be interviewing dude don't be coming on y'all platform no he don't I mean, Adam yeah they don't really see how to <laughs> fuck him Adam Thank you. Thank you, Lil Reese. I appreciate that. Do you relate to the lyric, they call me Reese, or what does this codex say? Call me Reese. You won't catch me without the peace? I am catch that boy. If I'm incorrectly, I, I got to say it the right way. I'm just saying Kodak. That's great. <laughs> you know, he just turned 27. I just bumped into him in Houston. Oh, so everybody be in Houston. Where y'all was at? Um, we was at um some spot, man. Some spot I bumped into him at. 
Call me Reese's. You can't catch me without the piece. I think it's. I think I think oh yeah, call out. me Reese's. Can't retarded. catch me without the piece. That's on the uh, yeah, yeah, no yeah, flock. Yeah, yeah. I think that's like. Um, I think you basically talking about Reese's pieces, like the candy, you know? Yeah. No, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, you know. <laughs> you got the Reese's piece cereal. <laughs> Mm. Nah, when you see Kodak, though, wish I was vibe in relationship. Shit, he was just like, cool, and he was talking about Fredo. Mm. He used to oh, fuck with Fredo tough. Yeah, he was Fredo tough. And Fredo used to be, Fredo, that was Fredo boy, so he was talking about Fredo and shit. R.P. to Fredo. Man, I was talking shit. Exchange numbers and shit. That's another feature we need. On game. Now, I did something with him before, but I don't think it, it never came out. Was I did something with him. Yeah, he sent me, he sent me some. Mm. With the yeah, regular yeah. voice or with yeah. the with, with man, the? Send me some, but I never it never came out. Yeah, well, I want to see you with some mainstream features for the next tape, man. I know you. That's what you want me to do. Get yeah, I feel like the features. fans want you know what I'm saying. The people want to see you step do out, some and do, some, do some mainstream, do some mainstream shit. shit. Yeah. We, you you do shit with the guys all the time, uh -huh. but like a Travis Scott feature, a Kodak feature, gonna just take you to where you need to be. Okay. You know what I'm saying, I'm, I'm, gonna get, I'm, I'm gonna get on that. I'm gonna get on that. Get some mainstream. Features. Even hop, I'm tap in with me. Tell me, this send shit. a verse or song. I'm gonna do it. Katy Perry. Katy Perry. <laughs> Hell no, I ain't doing no song, okay? Remember when she got into it? <laughs> she like apologizing. Yeah. What the f I have? I remember She said, song. I just heard this song. It's called I Hate Being Sober. This shit sucks. And the chief keeps mm -hmm. says, tell that bitch Katy Perry she can suck the skin off my dick. And then she apologized. <laughs> she said, oh, Mr. Sosa, I'm so sorry that I didn't realize it was you. There's a bunch of people on the record. <laughs> like, like, why she apologized? It's so well, crazy. I was on that record again. I don't even know who's... The, the remix... Of of I hate being sober had who fifty and Wiz yeah fifty and Wiz on that one mm -hmm. I mean even if you're Katy Perry you should probably be able to tell the difference between Chief Keef and Fifty Cent right mm -hmm. I don't know I mean like I expected I didn't expect Reese to you know get extremely mad about what he been saying and just go off he did kind of what I expected him to do and not really pay no mind and just call him a goofy. And um, Charleston White, I don't think he be really serious when he said a lot of this stuff, because he even said, like, sometimes he really don't even be serious. He just said it just because, man. And I feel like Larice is right, bro. He, he might end up saying the wrong thing to the wrong person at the wrong time, and then wrong things end up happening, man. But y'all let me know how y'all feel about this in the comment section below, bro. Uh, I don't think we got to worry about the Chirac Demon putting that boy in the dessert. Talk about it. Right with sticks on autopilot. Fuck that bitch, I know she tried. For when I catch her off, I, I trade on 